Before setup, collect the following supplies. Hemolung cartridge kit. One 500 milliliter or larger bag of saline for priming solution. Recommended priming solution equals one unit heparin per milliliter saline. One 500 milliliter or larger bag of saline, 0.45% or 0.9%, to use for seal flush. Turn on the controller using the power switch located on the side panel. Once the power on self-test completes, press continue to set up a new circuit. Select the individually packaged disposable set and press next. The following steps correspond with on-screen instructions. Replace the soda lime column with a new one from the accessories kit. Make sure to reuse the end caps. Hang the seal flush saline bag 6 to 12 inches above the infusion pump. Prime the IV administration set and load it into the infusion pump. Connect the one-way valve to the seal flush port using a clean technique. Connect the IV administration set to the one-way valve and run the infusion pump at 30 milliliters per hour. Hang the heparin prepared priming solution. Open the red to patient tubing set. Hang the recirculation bag. Sterility of the blood tubing needs to be maintained until catheter connection. The protective sheath is provided to maintain sterility of the blood tubing. Connect the free end of the red tubing to the red blood outlet connector on the side of the hemolung cartridge. Open the blue from patient tubing set. Again, note that the protective sheath is provided to maintain sterility of the blood tubing. Close the blue clamp located near the priming spike. Spike the priming solution. Connect the short tube of the blue tubing set to the barb connector on the recirculation bag. Connect the free end of the blue tubing set to the blue inlet connector on the top of the cartridge. Fill the drip chamber. Next, close the blue slide clamp on the recirculation bag. Prime the cartridge by holding it upside down with the red outlet facing up. Open the blue clamp near the priming spike to start the flow of saline into the circuit. Gravity will allow saline to move through the tubing and cartridge. Fill the cartridge by keeping the red port up and the entire cartridge below the saline bags. Tap the side to remove any trapped air. Once the circuit is filled with a minimum of 500 milliliters, close the blue clamp on the blue tubing set. Now open the blue slide clamp on the recirculation bag to allow any trapped air to enter the recirculation bag. Inspect the entire circuit for any trapped air. If found, guide it into the recirculation bag. Remove the silicone tubing from the bottom of the cartridge and place the cartridge on the controller. Next, apply a small amount of petroleum jelly to the area of tubing that sits in the blood flow sensor. Do not place petroleum jelly on the bubble detector section. Seat the tubing into the sensors and close the door. Assemble a vacuum canister by firmly applying pressure around the circumference of the lid. Several clicks will be heard when properly secured. Cap the two unused ports labeled accessory and tandem. Attach the sweep gas vacuum tube to the center port of the vacuum canister. Then place the canister on the controller. Connect the sweep gas vacuum tube to the controller. Install the silicone sweep gas tube from the cartridge into the purge valve. 
then connect it to the vacuum canister port labeled patient. Now connect the sweep gas supply tube with a bacterial filter to the controller. Connect the other end of the sweep gas supply tube with bacterial filter to the sweep gas inlet port of the cartridge. Make sure all tubing connections are completely secure and there is no air or leaks observed in the circuit. Press continue to start the recirculation process. Check the blue port on the cartridge for air and if found, walk it into the recirculation bag. Once the self-test completes, press Continue to select the sweep gas source. Use the arrow keys to select the desired source and press Continue. The pump will now run continuously until the patient is ready to be connected. Pressing Next will stop the pump and display instructions for connecting the patient. For complete instructions, refer to the Hemolung RAS instructions for use.